On the way to the prison, the police's communication equipment was suddenly disturbed, and then a helicopter landed rapidly, blowing the police's eyes so that they couldn't open them. At this time, a bald man appeared beside Jack and told him that someone would pick him up at the sea. Although Jack was confused, he still took the opportunity when the police weren't paying attention, plopped into the sea. Sure enough, as soon as he entered the water, a diver handed him a breathing apparatus, and then started the underwater thruster and left the police's blockade. But when Jack finally got ashore, he found that the person who saved him was his arch-rival, Mark. It turned out that Mark was also obsessed with finding treasure, but he couldn't find the key clues. When he found out that Jack was only one step away from the treasure, Mark did not hesitate to rescue Jack from under the noses of the police at all costs. Not only that, Mark also kidnapped Jack's family and teammates, forcing him to cooperate with him. For the safety of his partners, Jack had no choice but to agree to Mark's request. He put on the antique glasses again, analyzed the final treasure location, and then the group set off to a church in New York to look for the treasure. Unexpectedly, what awaited them was a bottomless trap.